We have a significant update in our ongoing Better Call Bankin investigation into a multi-county check cooking scheme. Tonight, the Largo Police Department is confirming that it has changed its position and is now reaching out to more than 130 victims after officers found their stolen personal documents in a car back in January. Aid on your side, consumer investigator Shannon Bankin has been all over this, and she's back with the update. Jane Keith, I've been asking for weeks why law enforcement didn't notify victims when their personal information, checks, and unopened mail were found in a suspect's car in January. Now, I'm happy to report that if you are one of these victims, the Largo Police Department tells me they're trying to contact you. It's been nearly three weeks since my Better Call Bank and investigation revealed the Largo Police Department found a car packed with hundreds of personal documents belonging to individuals and businesses. Check paper, a printer, a metal grinder, IDs, bank cards, and checks. In an about face, a spokeswoman now confirms the Largo PD is finally trying to find and notify those people. Until now, it was just me trying to reach victims I could identify from the police report. I am completely blindsided. I have no idea what these documents could be, and honestly, I'm very, very worried. A Largo PD spokeswoman says they're sending notices to 130 people who had identifying information on the evidence that was collected in that car. In addition, even though Largo has closed its case, their spokeswoman says the state attorney's office wants the documents and other evidence seized to be held. All of this comes after Largo PD repeatedly told me it was not their responsibility to notify victims. Until this week, I was told they arrested the suspect in the car for fraud involving a rental property, and it was up to other agencies to look into the evidence they stumbled upon. And just moments ago, I learned that the woman who owns the car found with these documents has been arrested for her involvement in my story that started this check cooking investigation. This woman, Keeley, is charged with grand theft and uttering a forged check. The victim in the case called me for help after her check to a local business was altered, forged, and cashed by Keeley. I'm still going through these arrest records that I just obtained, and I'll have more on this arrest tomorrow. Okay, so obviously doing more detective work, which we would have thought someone else would be doing, but now the fire is lit and we're seeing some action. What about other possible people you've reported on who have been connected to the documents that were found in the car? I mean, I, there are many, many threads to this sweater that could be pulled. There's a lot of questions here because this arrest is just one case, one check. At this time, it's still unclear if any law enforcement agency is piecing together why these things were found in this car, but victims tell me they are encouraged that this evidence is being held. They're also hoping for accountability, and they say this arrest of Keeley is a start. It is a start, but it feels like a late start, so yes. stay on it. Thank you, Shannon.